Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Cyclone Tracking More, and today we're going to be discussing Tropical Cyclone Faraji, which is rapidly intensifying right now. It is yet to reach hurricane status, but with winds of 60 knots, I expect it will within at least three hours. The storm is coming out very nicely, and as you can see with some satellite imagery right now, it's been blowing up some very decent convection indeed. It's got solid rotation, good inflow. As you can see coming through here, some very solid outflow as well. It's a good looking system. And I expect that this system will continue its rapid intensification march right up to 115 knots, which is Category 4 on the Sapphire Simpson. And believe it or not, we cannot write off Category 5 on the Australian scale at this time, although that is not likely within the next two days or so. We can't be writing it off. Here's a track guidance from the storm. You can see it is expected to reach 100 knots by the ECMWF. It's almost certain that it will reach 100 knots over the next two days by the ECMWF. The GFS is not so sure, but then again, the GFS does like to underestimate these sort of storms. The HWF comes through with 120 knots. Some models going as high as 145 knots, which is a big concern indeed, uh, but thankfully no islands are in the area, although there is some sea traffic. You can see here by the sea traffic map with the red dot being the storm's centre that all ships are avoiding this area. Now this shows particular concern because ships will continue to sail into storms with winds of around 40 knots or so. They can handle that, but this storm is being totally avoided by ships. Now this is a sign that the storm is intensifying and, it's, uh, and captains know about it. As we can see with some microwave imagery, the eye is starting to build up. The northern eye wall, the eastern eye wall, and the western eye wall are very solid right now. The southern eye wall is getting its act together, but it isn't perfect at this time. But we expect it will increase in appearance over the next few days or so. Here's a model run, the wind speed run by the ECMWF. You can see the storm is expected to rapidly intensify over the next few days. It's going to achieve quite a high intensity indeed of around 115 knots. So you can see with those reds really starting to become apparent over the next few days. And uh, it is quite a dangerous storm uh, for the middle of the Southwest Union Ocean. If you are planning on taking a ship through the area and you've just found out that this storm is a thing, don't. That's my advice. The storm is located at 13.3 degrees south, 80.9 degrees uh, east. So if you're taking your ship anywhere within that uh, region, don't. It's a bad idea. This is going to be a powerful system indeed. Uh, here's some visible imagery as the sun rises over the storm. It's looking very impressive indeed. It's got good CDO, really good rotation, really solid structure. That eye is starting to uh, form right now. I've seen it in the microwave imagery. I expect this storm will develop a uh, will develop a medium to sort of a smallish medium eye of around 20 nautical miles across, so maybe slightly below an average eye size of the southwest Indian Ocean. That's the latest on Tropical Cyclone for from Southern Trek More. If you did enjoy this video, you can share support by leaving a like. And if you want to share more support, most you can subscribe to this channel and the Southern Trek More's channel, which will give you graphical updates on this storm every day or so, whenever I can be bothered to be, bothered, to be honest. That's the latest from me, and I'll catch you all in the next storm. Goodbye.